All right, I'm out here in the garage again. I thought uh, this morning I might do a little tutorial on how I make the uh, plug wire boots for my uh, wires on the distributor. <coughs> now, I make my own plug wires and stuff. I hope y'all can see that. Uh, I take the stock distributor that comes with the kit and I drill a hole in the middle of it and then uh, cut nine of these wires this is the this is the wire that I use cut nine of those that's 30 AWG 100 foot roll I think that was less than 10 bucks anyway cut my wires and put in there and then when it comes time to uh, cut the boot what I do is I go to Ace Hardware and uh, I buy this wire here it's telephone wire, and you get four different strands inside, and those are pretty much all the colors you'll use for uh, your uh, distributor wires on um, pretty much all the kits that you'll build. But uh, I use the insulation off this uh, to slip over that uh, plug wire, that 30 AWG wire that I buy. It, <clears throat> now it's not an exact fit. Well, it, it does actually slip on it really nice, but getting it on there is a chore. So what I do is, for example, here's the wire that I cut off, and I, I slipped it off the wire. This is nothing but the insulation now. And I take a needle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it in there without my magnifiers, but... Uh, I take a needle and stick an end of it and it expands that end just a little bit, just enough to give you enough clearance to slip your wire from your distributor on there. And then you slip that over your wire, that insulation over your wire. And then I bring it down to my steel rule here and I'll lay it down and I'll cut off with my hobby knife a 1 16th strip of that insulation. And then, when I'm done, I slide it down the wire, and there's my boots right there. I've already got half of them done. I slide them down the... And then, once you get done, you install your distributor, run your wires down in the pre-drilled holes I've already got here, cut it to length, glue it, and then just slide your boot down to the, to the head, and you're done. Now you can paint these boots any color you want. You can just slide them up to the end here, spray paint them or whatever you want to do. Once they dry, slide them back down. Uh, you can do it with them whatever you want. But uh, that's how I make mine. And now the, there's so many different ways to make these and uh, this is not the correct way, but it's what I came up with I'm not sure if I saw somebody else do this online or I just came up with it on my own. I just happened to have this wire here, some old phone wire, and I was looking for something to make boots, and, and I, I come across it in my junk drawer. So that's how I come up with it, and it seems to work. And uh, I don't know if I've got one here. <coughs> Let me see here. Yeah, let me pull this 29 down here. Here's a 29 I put together. It's kind of dusty. But you can, I don't know if you can see or not, the, the boots down in there. I may not have it in the camera just right, but uh, this has got red boots on the plug wires. But anyway, you get the, the idea there. That's, a, that's how I do them. Turns out really nice and uh, it seems to be the right size. So that's how I do mine. All right, I think that's it.